been hurt before. I can see it in your eyes, tears filled with broken promises and lies. You don't want to get hurt again, so you lock your heart up, won't let anyone inside. You act tough, but the truth is you're not strong enough to do this on your own. And they say you're kind of hard to love because you don't ever open up to anyone. You try to hide it, act like everything's fine, but the truth is you're broken inside. The truth is you're tired of believing all the lies. They say they'll be there for you, but then they leave you waiting. They say they'll never leave you, but then they leave you chasing. They say they love you, but it's getting harder to believe every day. And you're not really sure how much more of this that you can take. So when I tell you about a God who saves, you look at me and laugh right in my face like if there was a God who really did exist. Then why would he leave me with a life like this? Or because of what you're going through, you think he must have given up on you. But maybe you're too blind to see that you're the one that gave up on him. Yeah, it seems like you've been going through the same storm for so long, no break, can't take this anymore. And when he doesn't answer you like you ask him to, you assume he doesn't care. But maybe he did give you an answer. It just wasn't the one that you wanted to hear. Maybe you were just too closed-minded to realize that there's something in the storm that you're supposed to find. And this anger that you've been keeping inside, it hasn't done you any good, it's just been eating you alive. You're at war with yourself, the battlefield is in your mind, and you have nowhere to run, you have nowhere to hide. But you don't want to face your problems, because then you'd have to go back to the place where it all started. But ignoring it won't solve it. Is it not clear to you yet that you've hit rock bottom? But maybe, maybe that's exactly what it takes for you to start looking up, for you to start picking up the pieces of your life that you've been wasting, because you've been chasing after all the wrong things, looking in all the wrong places. This world is filled with hatred. The problem when you give your heart to someone is you also give them the power to break it. And the problem when you give your trust to someone is if they get the chance to take advantage of you, they're probably gonna take it. But God, God's not like people He'll never let you down. He'll pick you back up on your feet when the world knocks you to the ground. You trade the scars on your skin for the pain that was brought onto him. And for the first time, you realize what real love is. Until you give your life, you never truly live. There's no better feeling than when you're forgiven and you can finally forgive and you can finally let go of the pain that you sold to the cross. You don't have to answer to fear just because he knocks. You're not that person anymore. So shut the door. Remember, you are not living for the world. You're living for the one who says you're worth dying for. Your life's worth fighting for. You've got a new name. You've got a new home. You've got a new faith and a new hope. This is new life. Thank you.